Hello and welcome to today's class on understanding geography with diagrams. Today we'll be talking about India's population growth. Now basically I want you to look into this diagram and analyze this diagram for the India's population growth. Now I have divided this entire population graph into two parts. This is the time part. This is the population part. And again within this graph I have divided it into four parts this is first second third and the fourth part the first part is called the high stationary part the second part is called the slow growth third part is called the exponential growth the fourth part is called as the growth with stability now what is this high stationary growth the high stationary growth we have already learned about it in the demographic transition model where there is both high fertility combined with high mortality and this was prevalent during the time of 1901 to 1921. Now understand why there was high fertility and high mortality. Poor health and medical services, illiteracy, insufficient distribution of food and other facilities. Now again if you analyze this you must at least know that we, during the period of 1901 to 1921 was ruled by the colonial era. And it was also during this time that we had the World War One. It was during 1914 to 1918. But what happened with 1921? It was since this 1921 census identified as the watershed census, involving significant reduction in the mortality rate. And this paved way to the slow growth stage. What is the slow growth stage? This stage was extensive between 1921 to 1951 as the name suggests, it resulted in the continuous declining mortality combined with exponentially high fertility which resulted in the continuous increase in the decadal growth rate of the population. Now why such a thing happened? First of all there was develop, uh, development in the healthcare facility. Next development in the transport and communication. This were the major two factors that actually happened because of the World War I. Government extensively invested in the healthcare and in the transport. Why the healthcare? The healthcare for the army and why the transport? Again for the army to carry the military and the logistic equipment. Next, post-independence period, 51 to 81 census. India experienced exponentially growth of population reaching the highest on record decadal growth rate of the population of 24%. As we had already talked about India's anti-natalism policy and it was during this phase that two phases were implemented. One was your voluntary phase, another one used was your family welfare phase. It was during this phase what happened was that this peninsular India responded very properly to the population planning. Whereas the Hindi heartland or the Bimaro states did not respond such effectively to the population planning. Now, what happened in this post-independence? Let us see the reason. First of all, in the post-independence, first there was increase in the immigration during the 1950s and 1970s. 1950s, what happened? Partition of India. 1970s, again, Indo, uh, the, uh, this Indo-Pakistan war, the 1971 war. And during this time, what happened? That immigration was huge. Next, increase in the healthcare facilities again because government because the India got independence, and with the independence, India established a welfare state. Hence, India significantly invested in the healthcare facilities. Last but not the least was the government welfare policies such as your PDS, TPDS, work. Uh, work sorry, this is your food for work scheme, Trisim schemes. This was such of the government welfare schemes that actually helped in the growth of population. Now, what happened? It was since 1981, the second watershed census year. Why? Because India entered the third stage of the demographic transition. Because if you remember India's antinatalism policy, then we had discussed that it was since 1981 that the Bimaru state responded to the population policy. And hence they were converted into the empowered action group states where the pop where the population where the fertility had significantly come down and the growth rate was stable now it was since 1981 the second watershed census year with india entering the third stage of the demographic transition full stop 
growth rate of the population started declining with the beginning of the controlling fertility. This phase of the growth was called growth with stability. And this have continued even in the last census decade, uh, registering approximate 17% growth rate of the population. This was because of the success of the government's antinatalist policy, which we had discussed. Now, this is the growth rate of Indian population. I hope that if you do not understand this, then I would request you to please watch the demographic transition model, number one. And then I would ask you to watch the population policy where I have discussed the India's anti-natalism policy. If you, for a details and clear understanding. That will be all for today's class. Thank you.